إذا حكمتم بين الناس أن تحكموا بالعدل. The word عدل actually comes in Arabic from the word عدل. And عدل was in old times they didn't have like cars with big trunks and vans and trucks and things like that. Their truck was a camel. That's what they had. And the camel is pretty skinny on top, so you can't keep loading stuff on top. It'll fall off. So what they used to do is put a bunch of luggage on one side, tie it to a rope, and equal weight luggage on the other side so it can carry the whole load. If they can't put that all, all that stuff on top because they don't have flat trunk space on the camel. So they've got to put weight on both sides and tie it together. Now obviously if one side is heavier than the other, then it's going to tip over. Or it's going to hurt the camel because it, it's going to have more pressure on one side of its body than the other. So the two sides have to be the same weight for it to be able to walk. So one side of that, when it's equal in weight to the other side of that, that's called a idl. And from it came the idea of things being balanced or things being of equal weight of things being scaled, and obviously you're familiar if you go to any courtroom in the world or any symbol of just, if you even like Google image justice, right? What are the images associated with justice? You'll see maybe a blind lady holding a scale and the scale's balanced, or you'll see just a scale and things are balanced. The idea of things being equal measure is associated with justice. What does it mean that when you and I make judgments that we make them with justice? The first of them I already kind of alluded to. If you have any kind of bias, Somebody could have a bias towards Muslims. Somebody else could have a bias towards non-Muslims. You could say, oh man, this judge, he hates Muslims and he, he went after me or whatever. But it could be a Muslim society and it's a Muslim judge and he hates Hindus. And there's a Hindu guy standing in front of him and he goes against him because he used his bias against Hindus to make that judgment. So if it's a personal bias based on religion, it's a bias based on race, it's a bias based on economic class or gender or personal experience, because sometimes in our families, you have six kids, you can't even remember their names, but you know one of them you like more than the other. When an argument happens, you're always favoring this one, never that one. Why can't you be more like him? No, no, if there's a fight, you must have done something wrong. Because you already have a bias, you're kind of leaning towards one of them, so the other one gets the shorter end of the stick every time. This is a bias, which means one side weighs heavier than the other. So you can't have justice. So the first problem with justice is bias is actually bias. And we have to check ourselves, ask ourselves, are we people of bias? I'm reminded of a famous story of at the time when Umar radiallahu anhu served as the Supreme Court judge. And a great companion of the Prophet وسلم, Ali radiallahu anhu, had a disagreement with a Jewish man. And they had a case, some assets that were owed. And they came to Umar radiallahu anhu, and of course the job of a judge is to hear both sides. So he asks both sides, what happened? And so he asked the Jewish man and he told his story. And then he turned to Ali and said, Amma anti Aba Hassan, father of Hassan, what do you say? Aba Hassan means father of Hassan. And that's a nickname. Ali said, wait, wait, hold on. When you called him, you called him by his actual name. You called me by a nickname, you're biased. We don't want your judgment, thank you. And he left. Because he was a little bit soft even in the way the, that he addressed him, right? And they were sensitive to that. Because they understood something. They understood that even that much can tilt the scales and I, I, don't, I don't want to mess with that. I want to be absolutely fair. I want to be absolutely 100% fair. Can you imagine? This idea that there somehow any bias can make its way in a judgment that will go in my favor. What do people do nowadays? When you're about to be judged in criminal societies, you want to bribe the judge. If there's going to be, dad says, I'm going to decide who I'm going to give the car to. I'm going to make a decision. That night you decide to massage dad's feet. <laughs> You're trying to skew the judge's opinion in your favor in some way at that point. That's the first problem when justice goes away. 